Good morning. I am Columbia Daily Tribune City Editor Matt Sanders. With me is Sports Editor Joe Wall Jasper. Um, welcome to your week. Uh, the big thing in news that we're covering this morning is the aftershocks of something that happened last week. Uh, of course, on Friday, President Trump signed an executive order uh, putting a freeze on some immigration, particularly people from seven predominantly Muslim countries. Um, so we're trying to figure out how that's going to affect us locally. Of course, there are a lot of international students at the University of Missouri. We do have a refugee, refugee population here. We have a, an organization that helps refugees resettle here. Um, we know that there are 130 students at the University of Missouri from those seven uh, majority Muslim countries. They're outlined in the executive order. Um, so we're trying to figure out how they're affected by this. Uh, you know, is this going to cause problems for them personally? or for their families who might be wanting to come here and see them. Uh, we're working through those questions right now. Um, Joe, you've got a lot of stuff going on in sports though, right? What do you got? In sports, um, on Sunday, the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame inducted uh, several people with local ties. One of them, uh, former Missouri football coach Warren Powers, who is battling Alzheimer's disease, so he was able to go and speak at the event. So we have a story on that. We have a story on the Missouri women's basketball team which has won four games in a row um, and plays Kentucky tonight at home. Uh, the story is basically on how some of their bad early season defeats have maybe paved the way for this nice string during the SEC play. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, we have uh, football recruiting news. Uh, Missouri got a little bit of tough news on Sunday. A uh, kid had, from Kansas City, Jafar Armstrong, who had been committed to them for a long time, changed his mind uh, and decommitted. They did, however. I think pick up a few more commitments uh, from people who visited this weekend, so kind of win some, lose some on the football recruiting front. So National Signing Day for football is coming up on Wednesday, so we'll have some recruiting news for you. All right, well, let's hope that they uh, can get a pretty decent class this year and start uh, climbing back up the ladder. Uh, some other things that we have in news uh, right now, actually, you can read on our website about a rally yesterday. Uh, started at Peace Park and went to the Islamic Center uh, it was also a reaction to the executive order signed Friday. Uh, it, was, it was local people showing solidarity with, uh, with Muslims who live here in our community. Uh, they went to the Islamic Center, put flowers on the, on, on the steps of the Islamic Center. Anyway, you can read that and see images from that on our website now. Also, Roger McKinney uh, on the K-12 through beat is working on a story about a survey uh, Columbia Public Schools are trying to decide a name for the new elementary school in East Columbia to uh, replace Cedar Ridge. So look for that later as well. As always, you can reach us via our uh, social media channels on Twitter and on Facebook. And uh, you can also reach us via email.